you can find an overview of all my videos at www.genesispc.com and you click on the button videos on YouTube and you get a complete listing of all the videos I created for you on Excel on Excel VBA on Access Access VBA and VB Script this is what they call a comparative histogram. It has a vertical axis here. To the left are the females, to the right are the males. It's a common situation for this kind of histograms. It's like a population pyramid. So if you want to know how to make graphs or charts, I will not go into that into detail, but you need to either read this book, Excel 2013 for Scientists, or use this simple little CD-ROM 2013 for Scientists. A book, CD-ROM, all of this, and this section is plotting data. So how do you do this? The, the secret of it is that you have one group in negative percentages. If they were not negative, you would get a very different graph. Uh, how can you make them positive again? The, the simplest way, especially when you have long columns of data, is to multiply all these negative ones by minus 1. So all you have to do is, that's the trick, you type somewhere minus 1, you copy that, control C, then you go to the range where you want to multiply them, right click, pay special, multiply, and in this case you want to make sure that you only multiply that value and not its format with no decimal points, etc. So when you do that they become all positive and then you get this, what they call a stacked bar chart. That's not what you wanted, of course. So, how do you make them negative again? You type minus one somewhere, copy it, paste it in here with a special paste. Paste special, multiply the value only, click on OK, and you get a histogram like that. A comparative histogram. Let's create it from scratch. Click anywhere inside your table and insert a bar chart of the stacked type. So now we, we have to make sure that the y-axis, which is located here and that has its numbers there that you can hardly see, that that goes to the left position. So you right-click on the vertical category axis, format the axis, go to the label positions, and the label position is not next to the axis, but low. This would be low, that would be high. So it puts the figures there. Then we are closing the gap between these bars. Click on any bar and change the gap width. I, I change it to 10%, but that is up to you how close you want it. Then what is still annoying is that you have here negative values in the left section. So we are going to format the x-axis. Click on the x-axis and we are going to format it. And we are going to say we want a number format with a specific code. We are going to say make sure that you have 0% 0%, semicolon, 0%, and add that format. 
and they are all positive to the left, positive to the right. You probably want to cut it off here at 30%. So we set the maximum to 0.3. We have already the vertical grid lines. If you also want horizontal grid lines, it doesn't make much sense in this case. Then you right click there and you add major grid lines. It's probably not what you want in this case. You can type a title there. If you don't want any title, just select it and delete it. And fix the chart to your liking. This was a STEAM course in how to create comparative histograms. Again, if you need to know more, and you probably do, especially when you are a scientist, I recommend this book or this CD-ROM. They have helped thousands of scientists to become not only professional in their science, but also in using Excel to plot their data, to analyze their data. Statistical analysis, curve fitting and regression analysis. How do you plot data? And how do you do data analysis? You can find these tools at genesispc.com.